of north into lower Michigan this afternoon as an area of low pressure over the Dakotas strengthens. Warm, humid air interacting with this frontal boundary may trigger scattered thunderstorms across southwest lower Michigan after 2 o'clock this afternoon. Some of the storms will have the potential to become severe, producing hail up to an inch in diameter and wind gusts to 60 miles an hour. However, a greater threat of severe weather is expected tonight as a line of thunderstorms will develop ahead of a cold front across southern Minnesota and Iowa and move east into southern lower Michigan, most likely after midnight. Damaging wind gusts in excess of 70 miles an hour are expected to be the main threat with these storms, although some storms may also produce large hail. Due to the increased possibility of severe weather, the Storm Prediction Center has placed all of southwest lower Michigan under a moderate risk for severe thunderstorm development. That developed this afternoon will move toward the east and northeast at 30 miles an hour with hail up to one inch in diameter and damaging wind gusts the main threat. Thunderstorms that move into the region overnight will move toward the east at near 50 miles an hour with damaging winds the main severe weather threat though most storms could produce large hail. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, local television, radio, or cable television stations for the latest weather information concerning the severe weather threat. 1019, May 30th, 1998. You can see severe weather is breaking out across Minnesota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, and a line extending into Wisconsin and Upper Michigan. The time is 1.22 a.m., May 31st, 1998 and those storms have exploded into Wisconsin. Look at that incredible line of thunderstorms and there's popcorn storms going just getting going in Michigan, the UP. Wow, this is going to be some event. Right now time 153, 152 probably, May 31st, 1998. New tornado watch box up just covering Milwaukee and Chicago. I'm afraid we're going to be next, and that squall line is going to make its way into here. And Peter Chan says that Skywarn spotter activation may be imminent uh, at around 2 a.m., so we're going to continue to watch this throughout the night. I am not going to bed. So, May 31st, there are all the valid watches right now, and we are in the direct line for a tornado watch uh, fairly soon here. The entire lower peninsula of Michigan is under a tornado watch. Uh, National Weather Service does not have that out yet, but I am updating you right now. SPC has it, us boxed in. Tornado watch number 470, 474. Until 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Tornadoes, hail up to two, inch in, two inches in diameter, thunderstorm wind gusts to 105 miles per hour, and dangerous lightning are possible in these areas. This tornado watch affects the following counties across West Michigan, Allegan, Barrie, Berrien, Cass, Kalamazoo, St. Joseph, Van Buren, Kent, Ottawa, Lake, Mason, Muskegon, Nuego, Oceana, Macosta, Montcalm, and Ionia. This tornado watch also includes the adjoining coastal waters of Allegan, Berrien, Van Buren, Ottawa, Muskegon, Oceana, and Mason counties. Repeating, a tornado watch has been issued for much of Lake Michigan and Lower Michigan, effective this Sunday morning from 3.45 a.m. until 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time.
down in sheets. Control from N8 KGM. I'll do that, and uh, I got lots of pictures. N8 KGM. Currently on Wilson, north of Leonard, approaching Remembrance. Damage, as you can see, is fairly widespread. Northwest Walker here took the brunt of the storm. Numerous trees, power lines, building collapses.